If you're a beginner content creator filmmaker here on YouTube or on any other social platform, niching down is terrible advice. Let me explain. Everywhere you look on YouTube, they say if you want to be successful, you got to niche. You got to have a topic, stick to one topic, that way your audience knows you as that person that talks about that one thing. And there are some benefits to actually niching down. We'll talk about the benefits at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Now my story with niching down goes a little something like this. I started doing style, men's fashion style, how-tos, dress shoes, how to be comfortable in dress shoes, how to dress stylistically in the men's fashion area. Videos always did pretty well, but then I started to make cycling videos and the first couple didn't do that well, but then some cycling videos did even better than the style videos. How could that be? The, my niche, right? My niche was men's fashion, men's style. How could it be that I went outside my niche and it actually grew my channel faster? And this is also the same thing with, I've done some microphone reviews, some camera reviews. Just the other week I did how to invest in GameStop, a GameStop investing video, and that video blew up. I got 100 subscribers overnight. So why is it that if I'm sticking to my niche, I only get a couple of views per video. YouTube says that the videos are good, one out of 10, two out of 10. But then when I go outside my niche, all of a sudden, the videos blow up. Maybe niching down isn't the best thing for beginners or if you have a small channel like me. So all in all, what was the lesson here that I learned? Sometimes it's not good to get too specific and stick to one topic too early in the game or just stick to one topic and feel like you can't experiment. If I never experimented with those microphone reviews, if I never experimented with that GameStop investing video, if I never experimented with the camera reviews, the cycling videos, I probably wouldn't get as many views as many subscribers as many of you following me as I would if I kept it a little bit more well-rounded. By the way, don't forget to subscribe if you like this content. Appreciate it. Let's get on with it. Don't want to waste any more of your time with that subscribe now or whatever stuff that we see. Now, sometimes it's just a bit too early to niche. It's too early to stick to one topic and you've got to experiment because the same niche that'll get you to 100,000 subscribers or get you a lot of views might not be the same niche that initially grew you from zero to 500 subscribers, for example. That's how I feel with my niche. Now, of course, some niches are going to net you more views and more growth than other niches. What was popular and trending five years ago is gonna to be totally different than what was popular and trending this past year. A great example for me is walking all day in dress shoes, how to wear dress shoes with jeans. Some guys out there are actually interested in it. A lot of people aren't. A lot of people would just say, why wouldn't I just wear a nice pair of leather fashion sneakers? Why do I need to wear dress shoes unless I'm wearing a suit? We're not wearing suits really at all anymore. Once or twice a year, if that, I barely even wear a suit just when I make some videos. So niching down might hold you back from that explosive growth you're looking for. And it's important to experiment and try different topics because you may never know that one video you do that's not in your actual topic, not in your niche, may be the video that actually blows you up and you get a significant amount of subscribers and views. And <clears throat> excuse me, and you get to build that community much faster than if you just stuck to one topic. Now, there are some obvious downsides to not picking a niche or not niching down. You're not gonna be able to grow quite as fast. Sure, if you do niche down, the growth may be slow in the beginning, but in the long run, you're gonna be known for the bike guy or the makeup girl, or, oh, I love watching this person. They help me with finance. If someone clicks on your finance video and they see a whole bunch of other videos like how to dress well, what bike to buy, it might not be, they might not want to subscribe because you're doing one video they're interested in, but they don't want to hear what else you have to say because they're not interested in the topic. And this actually happened to me. I follow this channel, Swell Entertainment. This girl makes videos, this girl makes videos, and her video was Don't Niche Down. And a couple more of her videos popped up in my feed, but it's nothing I'm really interested in, so I'm not really gonna click on it 
as fast. I still subscribed because, you know, if I watch someone I like, I'm gonna subscribe. I'm a creator as well, but you're not gonna grow as fast. You're gonna confuse your viewers. Now, I'm sure some people would have subscribed to me or turned the notification bell on, but if I'm only doing one video that they like, they don't wanna be notified about a shoe video or a cycling video. They wanna be notified about a finance video. But if I have two finance videos and 800 other videos, they're gonna say, nah, I'm not really gonna watch this guy. So it is a lot harder to grow faster in the beginning if you don't niche down. So kind of a double-edged sword. Now, without a specific niche, what's going to happen is you're going to create your own niche, which basically is you, the creator, are the niche. You're going to build that following based off of your personality. Well, that can make you cast a much bigger net, in my opinion, my experience, that is a lot harder to grow, especially in the beginning. People like Emma Chamberlain, Casey Neistat, these are individuals that they grew because their personalities and what they're doing was so unique but that is extremely hard to replicate. And also, everyone's trying to replicate it, so we're all just trying to do the same thing after all. So it is a lot harder to build a following based off of just your personality and make yourself a niche. In the long run, you're probably gonna be able to grow much, much further than if you just stuck to one topic. For example, if I just stuck to shoes, I'm sure I would grow faster in the beginning, but that would get me to 10,000 subscribers, but it would slow up. There's a ceiling there because you can only talk about shoes for so much, right? But if I expand and talk about cycling and finance and cameras, maybe that'll that push to get me to a million subscribers, a couple million. And at that point, people are following you because of you, but that's 10 to 15 years down the road. So all in all, should you niche, shouldn't you niche? Well, I can't tell you what to do. You gotta do what you think and what you feel is right. This is what I'm gonna do. I've tried niching like crazy, didn't like it. I've tried going all over the place, making tons of videos about whatever, didn't like that either. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna balance it. If I make five videos a week, two of those videos are gonna be up to the same topic. The other three, probably gonna be something like this or something that I'm just thinking about. A raw video, basic editing, basic thumbnail, just something for me to get some creativity out. I use videos as creative expression, so I need that to keep going. If I just make nothing but style videos or nothing but the same type of videos over and over and over, I'm gonna get burned out, I'm not gonna have a good time but at least half the videos that I make should be the same topic. That way I'm not confusing you, you lot, you all, my audience. That's what's going to hopefully work for me, give a little bit of balance, and in the long run, I'll be happy, you'll be happy, you won't be confused, I won't be getting burned out. Overall, it's a win-win, win-win-win-win-win. So, hope this helped. I gotta get some lunch. I will see you in the next one, as always. Thanks for watching.